employee. Nani your science pal Asura was the only reporter there when Cruz found the body and she takes us to the scene. Campbell County Emergency Management confirms that Cruz did find a body that surfaced this morning, but now the question is whether or not that body is of the BB Riverboats employee they've been searching for since Tuesday morning. It's difficult working with the river and everything. The current, the stage of the river, you know, whether it's up, down. But for 48 hours, that's what many agencies, including the Boone County Water Rescue, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and Kentucky Fish and Wildlife did as they searched for a 34-year-old man who officials say fell over the guardrail into the Ohio River. And just after 7 a.m. this morning, we discovered a body here in the Ohio River and uh, we just removed the body and it's been turned over to the Campbell County Coroner's Office here. Boone County Water Rescue took the body away on a boat. Now the coroner's office is in charge of identifying it and then notifying the family. Family that for days has been hoping for the best outcome. When you have a body that, you know, uh, a drowning or anything like that, um, it's just difficult because there's nothing that you can't, there's no visual. Crews faced challenges as they tried to locate the body for days without putting any divers in the water. Instead, they relied on sonar to try to find the man. In Newport, Paolo Suro, 9 on your side.